Hi and welcome. My name is Kevin Jones and I'm the owner and manager of Ballistic Equipment and Sports Technology, Best. Best is a manufacturer and retailer of clay target shooting vests and sporting shotgun accessories. We create and have available a vast range of styles, colours and sizes of clay target shooting vests for most disciplines of the shotgun shooting sports. Best offers an off-the-shelf size range from 3 extra small to 7 extra large in a range of styles and colours not available from many other manufacturers and suppliers. Best also provides a service offering bespoke, custom, tailor-made shooting vests for the discerning individual, club or team that desire the freedom to choose or create their own styling, colour selection, personal details and custom fit. The purpose of this video is to assist sporting shotgun shooters to establish measurements required by Best to enable us to create the best fit for your suitable requirements. Equipment you will need, a dressmaker's tape or tailor's tape measure, if you do not have this, you can use a length of string and a straight ruler or a builder's tape measure. Use the string to achieve the body shape and the rule or tape measure to then calculate the length. Before we start, I'd like to make mention of a few important considerations. Prior to measuring, dress in the type of clothing you intend to wear under your vest when shooting. If you intend to wear the same vest in both summer and winter, we suggest you wear your winter shooting clothing and utilise the adjustable waist tabs to reduce the waist girth for summer. All measurements provided by you for your order will be the measurements we make your vest to, so please allow for how you would like your vest to fit. For example, if you are an ISSF skeet shooter and you like a very close fit, breathe in, expand your chest, relax and measure closely. If you require a more relaxed fit, place two or three fingers inside or under the tape measure to add a little more room for comfort. Okay, shall we proceed? The first measurement we'll take is the shoulder width. It is measured across the back of the neck and measured from the bony lump on one shoulder to the bony lump on the other shoulder. These lumps are called the acromine of scapula. I'll call it the bony shoulder lump. The next, second measurement we'll take is the drop of the shoulders. This is the difference in height a horizontal line taken across the back of the neck at the level of the shoulder neck intersection and another horizontal line taken across the back of the shoulders at the level of the outer shoulder bony lump. This measurement helps us to define the drop or the slope of the shoulders. The third measurement, this measurement is the width of the neck. We use this to define the width of the collar this measurement is taken across the back of the neck and measured from the inside shoulder, high shoulder to neck intersection on one side to the same on the other side of the neck. Please note, we use this next shoulder intersection as a start point for some of our further measurements. The fourth measurement is the collar drop. It's not necessary However, some of our customers do like to take advantage of it. For shooters that find the rear collar riding up the back of their neck creating discomfort, we suggest this measurement. Our standard allowance is 3 cm drop. The range of measurement tends to vary from 2 cm to 5 cm. A horizontal line across the back of the neck from the shoulder neck intersection to the shoulder neck intersection to measure down the spine to where you'd like the centre rear of the collar. Now to the fifth measurement, chest or bust girth. This is an important measurement, take care. This measurement is the girth or circumference of the body taken at the height of the chest or bust. Measure at the level of the chest or bust that gives you the largest size. Take care that you measure on a level or horizontal alignment and the tape measure does not sag or slide down back of the shooter when taking this measurement. 
make sure the arms are down and relax and take this measurement when the chest expanded. Breathe in, but not excessively. Measurement 5B. This measurement is only for ladies that require a more figure form to fit. This measurement is taken in the same manner as the chest bust measurement, however the measurement is taken around the body just below the bust. Next measurement, 5C, bust length. Once again, this is a ladies only requirement. This measurement is taken from the shoulder neck intersection and measured down the front of the body to the level or height of the centre of the bust. The next measurement, measurement 6, is the waist girth. This also is an important measurement. Take care. For ladies, this measurement is taken just below the ribs, and for men, midway between the ribs and the hips. Like the chest measurement, this measurement is the girth or circumference of the body taken at the height of the waist. Ensure the shooter is standing upright and relaxed. Do not try to improve this measurement by trying to draw in your stomach. Measurement 7. Waist length. This measurement helps us to define the location on the rear waistband. If positioned well, this can help to disperse some of the cartridge weight from the shoulders and assist to free up gun strength. This measurement is taken from the rear of the shooter and starts at the shoulder neck intersection and measured down to the waist. The waist being for ladies, 2 to 3 centimetres below the ribs, and for men, 3 centimetres above the hips or belt line. It represents the centre of the waistband. Moving right along, measurement 8, hip girth. Much like the chest and waist girth, this is also an important measurement. Unless you have a particular requirement, leaving a few additional centimetres for freedom of movement is more well worth consideration. The hip measurement is taken as a girth or circumference measurement and should be determined at the level of the largest hip dimension available where the buttocks are largest. Measurement 9 is the overall vest length. This measurement is best taken down the length of the front of the body. This will help to accommodate for any larger contours such as bust or bellies that do require additional allowance for. To take this measurement, the shooter needs to be standing upright with shoulders relaxed and arms by the sides. Move the shooter's hands forwards to their front thighs or laps and point their thumbs down towards their toes. This measurement is taken from the shoulder and neck intersection down over the chest, bust and belly and is completed somewhere between the first knuckle and the tip of the thumb. Should the shooter require a shorter vest, measure to personal preference. We do not recommend a longer measurement unless extreme growth increases are expected. Last one, measurement 10, the armholes. This measurement can be estimated by best for you. However, for serious competition shooters and ladies with considerable bust dimensions, we recommend you make the effort. To take this measurement, measure from the bony lump on top of the outer shoulder to a desired distance under the armpit aligning with what would be the side seam of the vest. As a guide, we at best use three or four fingers depth tight under the armpits as a consistent gauge. The measurement is then doubled to provide the armhole size. Send us your measurements and desires for your vest and we'll reply with a comprehensive quote and arrange delivery when your vest is completed. This concludes our video for measuring custom size play target shooting vests for our shotgun sports friends. For any further clarifications, you can contact us at ballistic.equip at hotmail.com. Thank you for your interest in our short video, and we look forward to assisting you with your next favourite clay target shooting vest. Once again, my name is Kevin Jones, and I thank you for considering ballistic equipment and sports technology best.